So it's always interesting, isn't it? You've got, you do this work and you have, you do lots of meditation, your consciousness, you feel it's expanding yes, yes. and you get, you get wiser, but there's the human personality side that's still trucking along there on the old patterns. Yes. Unless you start to address and understand that, yeah. they can get in the way of things. And, um, I, I mean, I knew I never fitted, but I was used to not fitting. Yeah. I never fitted as a child at school. I never fitted as a student at the Royal Academy of Music. I never fitted, and I always knew I didn't, so I was sort of used to it. It never occurred to me. I didn't really discover until this crisis when I was asked to leave. I was really shocked and very upset. Um, was something that I'd learned when I was at boarding school, yeah. which was how to pretend okay. in order to fit. Yeah. And that was what was being addressed at that particular time. Yeah. Yeah. But they, gave, they did me a favour, because there I was out on my own, pulling myself up by my bootstraps, admittedly with the help of a very good friend, when I got back to London. And... Um, that's right, because you've been in communities for a time, yes. so then you were and out in no the real home, world. No nothing, yeah. Without any, as you say, without but anything. People that's... are very kind. And I suppose that's one part. The other part of it is that you're available for the kindness, and somehow you have courage and you're brave and you take the steps you feel you need to take. Yes. And somewhere life is also looking after you. Yes, it, it does. Which I is mean, something that, that isn't... That I know. It isn't always easy to see before you take the step, but no. once you take the step, you find out yes, pretty quickly. Absolutely. And, and it can often yes. be a pleasant surprise yes. somehow. And, yeah. yeah. So I know that after a time you moved to Australia, because I met you again out there when I was in Australia briefly. Mm -hmm. And then you found you had cancer, didn't you? Yes. That yes. must have been a, a Yes, a big that was shock. another, you know, another, uh, as we say in the jargon, learning experience, I suppose. I was very lucky. I mean, I, it was caught very early, and I had um, a lumpectomy, and he, that was in 94, and here I am in 2008, hale and hearty. Great. And yeah. um, I was very lucky. But it was another moment of total vulnerability. But something in me... Must be a huge shock to find out. It, it that, was. Yeah. And, and the thing, funnily enough, I was m more frightened of anything than was being chemotherapied. I really didn't want that. Yeah. And so I asked to be... To, a friend offered to pay for me to go to um, a cancer centre in Melbourne. A very, very good one. And I learned a lot about the disease there both allopathically and naturopathically. And I came back to my surgeon with the information that I knew that cancer is a basis is a, a, from a dysfunctioning immune system and that to have my immune system ruined by radiotherapy, which was what he recommended, and tamoxifen, I wasn't prepared to do that. And so I said, yeah, I'm not going to take any treatment. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and he was amazing. He said, well, of all my patients, Persephone, you probably need it the least. Those were his exact words. Very brave surgeon. And uh, that's how it stayed. And I went and had regular checkups. And I was careful about what I ate and what I drank. And I looked after this body in ways that I hadn't done before. So it taught you a lesson there, and we could say, practically looking after yeah. the physical body. And I think yeah. that's maybe one of the things that happens when you get very involved in meditation and wider consciousness. Yes. You can forget that there's the human vulnerability yes. of the human form as well. There was also another lesson I learned in that process. And I remember telling my eldest son who came to visit me, because he asked why I'd refused the treatment. And I said that the quality of my life was more important to me than the quantity Right. And I still believe that to this day. Now, one thing I remember also that um, you did this experiment with not eating yes. for a time. And yes. uh, there's a few other people that, that I also know that uh, became involved with. It's a woman called Yasmoin, I think her name's pronounced. I've heard of her. Who I don't was think Australian I've met her. woman. I, I saw mm. her in London when she came. And she actually, um, she gave a lecture in London, there's a few hundred people there, and I found it very fascinating. She was saying that she hadn't eaten for several years. Mm -hmm. She drinks liquids but doesn't eat. Mm -hmm. And she goes running, she just looks fantastic. Now, I don't know, one 
tend to have a sceptical mind on these things, but you actually didn't eat anything for three weeks and you didn't eat or drink anything for the first week at all. That's right. And that's part of the experiment. You go yeah. through these three weekly phases. Yes. How was that? How was that to not eat or drink anything for a week? You literally have no water, nothing. Yes. Uh, it was... I, well, I, I, it, it was a very interesting experience, quite uncomfortable, because you weren't e even allowed to swallow the water when you cleaned your teeth. Yeah. But one thing that I noticed was the level of toxicity coming out of my body during that, because my tongue, I've never seen, it looked like white velvet. It right. Made, you li almost could see things growing on my tongue, white. So the body starts Completely, eliminating. Absolutely. Yeah. Huh. And I think that was the single, probably, of the whole thing, greatest benefit, was the, the uh, reducing of the toxicity in my body. But it was also a time of self-reflection. I spent most of my time alone. I was staying with, with a, f a friend's mother who'd been through the process. I spent the time in bed because I didn't want to stress the body at all, and I didn't. And I wrote, and I read, and I meditated. It was very quiet. Yeah. For the whole three weeks, really. So the first week you don't eat or drink anything. The second week you For drink... 40% orange juice and 60% water. Right. And the third week it's the reverse, 60% orange juice and 40%. And water. how did you actually feel in those three weeks? Unbelievably good. You did. And it's stronger and stronger and stronger. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. And yes, yeah. and everything worked. I was really lucky. I had no adverse side effects. Yeah. But I, I, I would like to make clear that I don't recommend this to anybody. No, I understand. It's you do extreme understand stuff. It, don't yeah. You? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, um, I was uh, lucky, and it was amazing. I lost weight, and I got... I did look a bit skeletal when it was all over. Um, and how, and was I having, felt how, how was it having food for the first time after three weeks? Well, you see, I didn't. I oh, continued. Okay. I continued... Um, I had... I, I drank very watery soup, but I, I just... I thought, well, I've done all this, so I'm not going to start eating. Right. And that was very interesting, because I didn't go to the supermarket. I didn't go shopping. I really found a different relationship with food completely. Huh. I realised at the time, it seemed, it was totally unnecessary. And I stayed like that for about three months. So you didn't eat anything for three months? No. And I had lots of energy, felt really healthy. And then one day I noticed that my weight was dropping. I'm not surprised. And, and yeah. again, and I, it had stayed steady, okay. interestingly okay. enough. And I thought this was to do with the cancer, in a way. I thought this body doesn't need that. It was a very clear message. So I started to eat again ah, immediately. So, so you felt for the three months this was helping your cancer. You mentioned well, you were helping detoxifying. Well, the whole body. How, yeah. I don't and then, know then about it the came cancer. to a point you yes. felt now this could count against. So you went with yes. your intuition. I went with my intuition yeah. about how my body felt. It wasn't to do with the cancer, really. I didn't do this process because of the cancer. Yeah. I did it because I was curious. Hmm. Okay, no, that's amazing. Yeah.